Hi Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. And this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to look at January as well as what's coming in for you guys in February. <clears throat> if at any time this reading resonates with you and you'd like a personal reading that's more detailed and personalized, please check out the Etsy link in the description box below. Also, I post live readings during the week on Instagram and the handle to my Instagram is below as well. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Sagittarius in regards to their current life situation and life journey. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding. Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups, as well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I feel that you are worried about a situation here. Could be um, worried about your partner, the health of a partner, okay? Because um, you have the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So there is worry here regarding a, a connection or a relationship. Could be family as well, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance? For Sagittarius, overall spiritual message of guidance for Sagittarius. I do have kids, so you may hear them. Single mom, and we are homeschooling. Okay, so we have 2 Corinthians 4.17. Our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that outweighs them all. Okay, on the back, every tomorrow has two handles. We can take hold of it with the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith. You also have 2 Thessalonians uh, 3 3. The Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you. And on the back, faith makes all things possible. You also have home help here from the Archangel Raphael deck. Okay. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels, and others in matters regarding to my family and home. And then you have clean it up. Okay, so there's a situation that needs to um, be dealt with from a place of higher understanding and calm Okay, unconditional love. This may be a family situation. Like I said, there was some concern about um, a particular person in your life. But Spirit is reminding you that having faith in the outcome, having faith that God is guiding you is very, very important right now. Okay, I feel that you're needing to really look at all aspects of your life right now, Sagittarius, any situations and see... You know, where do, where do you need to tidy something up? Where do you need to make sure that it's meeting your, your expectations and standards? Is it creating any blocks for you? Is there an issue or a conflict between anything uh, in your life that you need to address? So let's take a look here. Let's see what we have. All right. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the page of rods. So you are very excited and passionate about something. There is uh, somebody or something that has caught your eye. Um, and you do want to come forward and either see them or meet up with them, communicate with them. There's a lot of hope here in this situation. Okay, and you do want to express yourself when it comes to this particular situation. I feel that you have something to say. 
Um, the energy surrounding you is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new opportunity here. This could be within work or finances, but I also feel strongly with the home help here that this has to do with something within your home. Maybe you're taking the next step with somebody, you're moving to a new level with somebody, okay? But there's a lot of promise and a lot of um, possibility for a very stable new beginning. I feel that you're in planning mode right now. You're kind of looking out to see which direction is best going to suit you. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, what decisions do you need to make? What do you need to let go of? And, and which path is ultimately going to lead you to where you're trying to go? Okay. Um, and, and what I mean by that is I feel that you're really looking at your long-term goals here. Okay. Um, tell me about this three of wands. You're trying to see the future in a situation. Is this going to take you where you want to go? Tell me about the three of wands, please. Temperance, yeah. That There you are, Sagittarius. This is you really wanting to move forward in a positive direction that's going to be successful, stable, healthy, healing, okay? And I'm seeing that balance be brought in, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. You have a very good, stable opportunity here. This is a time to heal any inner wounds, deal with any addictions or anything that was off balance or if you were wronged by someone in the past. This is the chance to rectify that and heal from that, okay? Um, the other person's energy is the Eight of Cups. So I feel that this person is either on their way to you. There may have been a, a brief pause or a period where you weren't communicating with this person or the situation was put on hold. This person needed to heal something, fill something within themselves. It was, it was kind of a, I do want to say for a lot of you, you're aware of this could be dealing with a water person or uh, Pisces or Libra, but I'm, I'm, what I'm seeing is somebody who needed to go through a transformational situation. They needed to figure something out on their own. Tell me about this eight of cups, please. Yeah. And now they're coming back towards you. So this is a time of celebration, happiness. Okay. So you're seeing that come forward this month. Um, again, this is about building a life together. This is about creating something strong after a period of separation or feeling as though it wasn't going to happen, okay? The challenge between the two of you is finding this balance, okay? For some of you, this could also be needing to leave another connection, whether it's divorce. Somebody may have been married and they're finalizing a divorce, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And the challenge between the two of you is getting things to be smooth and, and balanced and even um, and making the proper decision. I feel like there's a group here of people who are really wanting to make a choice or make a situation smooth for all of those involved. There we go. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's it's there's so many things at play here. OK, um, and this is really about finding that balance between. This could even be for a lot of you finding the time to even see each other if you guys were previously together, okay? Um, really struggling with grounding the ideas, okay? And, and, and balancing time. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me more about justice in the Seven of Cups, okay? Yeah, balancing time. Somebody felt left out in the past. Somebody felt like maybe they weren't getting enough attention, okay? Um, but I see that shifting. I see that, that, that energy shifting in this connection. And here we have the Nine of Cups as this person's next action. So this is a perfect story. They're in the Eight of Cups and they're moving into the Nine of Cups. They are coming towards you. You are a wish uh, come true for them, okay? They feel as though a wish has been fulfilled or a prayer has been answered with you. Yep. And here's chariot. So cancer energy. So coming towards you very, very quickly, wanting to express their emotions towards you, um, really wanting to, to spend time with you, doubt on you, you know, fill you with a lot of, of love. Okay. Um, and the outcome between the two of you is the moon. I feel that this moon is representing you guys connecting on a deeper level. 
I feel this is you guys really opening up and, and allowing yourselves to be vulnerable and become very emotionally connected. Tell me about the moon, please. Intuit intuitively connected as well. Yeah. So this is coming over fears and illusions here with the eight of swords and the four of pentacles. So where you guys may have been very closed off, very hard to is express things to one another. Here we have the page of wands to let us know that there's going to be a breakthrough. Okay. The, I feel that emotions are going to be expressed. Somebody's going to explain why they were being held back. Okay. It's very important not to get caught up in the fears or illusions know that they are triggers coming in to be released okay and really seeing the truth of a situation look at that with the empress so again abundance prosperity a new beginning here this is about closing out old timelines and perceptions that were keeping you blocked from receiving this new beginning this new love connection here okay it is coming in very quick now i don't want to say new love connection like it's a brand new person i think for a lot of you this is somebody from the past that you guys are about to work through a lot of your differences okay and for some of you that may mean walking away and starting something new um but i do feel like it's someone from your past coming forward and i'm seeing somebody really make the decision here to jump all in to dive all in. Yep, look at that. Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So, but it's divine timing is at play. This is something, there's a lot of love here and this is a lot of um, deep emotional happiness because we had the eight, the nine, and then the ten had just come out. All right, Sagittarius, thank you guys so much and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys soon. Bye.